Hi, welcome back. In this video, we'll learn about some important points that we should keep in mind while testing desktop applications. Now, what do we mean by desktop applications? So applications that works on the underlying computer OS and not within browsers. Example, Microsoft Excel. Okay, so Microsoft Excel is an is an app desktop application that works on the underlying operating system that is Windows and it is not uh, running under any browser or something. Okay, it is an independent desktop application. Okay, so what is it that you should be knowing? You should be knowing about latest information and knowledge about various operating systems like uh, one should have knowledge about different types of platforms like Windows, Mac, Linux and so on. Okay, so uh, learn about the latest operating systems as well and its market share. So because uh, Windows is uh, has the market share of 69.27% and OS X that is Mac OS it, it has market share of 20%. Okay, and Chrome OS has 3.32%. Usually uh, applications are made for only single platform and in a very rare case it is made for multiple platforms as far as desktop applications are concerned okay so if someone gives you an application uh, an independent application on windows then you should be knowing about the statistics of windows application what is the statistics and uh, os market share for that particular uh, or underlying operating system so say if someone has created an application for windows os okay so you, you should be knowing that which Windows OS is widely used in the market. So this as per statistics, Windows 10 is been used 71.94%. Okay. And Windows 11 is used 23.17%. So what does it mean? It means that you will test the Windows application thoroughly on Windows 10 because the market share is uh, around 72 percentage okay so th uh, these are some important things that you should keep in mind uh, now while testing the application okay in the task manager you can see cpu and memory usage okay so while testing the application you should also monitor cpu and memory usage if the cpu and memory usage is uh, keeps growing or uh, if it is too high when we open the application then uh, we should report it back to the developers because it is not an ideal scenario because uh, before we use the application the cpu and memory is low but when you use the application and if the cpu and memory goes up okay uh, then we need to report this incident to the developers okay so we need to continuously con monitor this thing continuously and see that what event or what kind of testing is causing the memory and cpu to go up so it is the QS responsibility to monitor CPU and mem uh, memory usage. Okay, so this is applicable not only to desktop application, but it is applicable to while you are testing a website as well as when you are testing a mobile application. Okay, you need to check that if you are testing a mobile application and if you keep using the application for longer period of time, whether it is any causing any delay or lags while using the uh, mobile phone. If yes, then you have to report it back to the developers. Same is the case with desktop application. If you are using the application, say you have used the application for one hour and after, before one hour, the system was running smoothly. But after one hour, if the system gets slow or something, then you, you need to check CPU and memory and uh, you need to monitor it throughout while using the desktop application. Okay. If any of the events is causing an unnecessary spike in CPU or memory, then you should report it back to the developer. So please consider uh, checking the CPU and memory usage while testing desktop applications. Okay. Also check the scenarios like Hibernate, PC lock or internet fluctuations. So when you are testing desktop applications, uh, it might happen that suddenly uh, someone calls you and you need to go. Then if you're using laptop, you just close the lead and you just go away. Then you, you need to check what happens in that scenario. Is your uh, desktop application crashing or it is working as expected? Okay, so you need to test this scenario. Then uh, you are using some desktop application and suddenly you need to go somewhere. Then you hyper you uh, switch your uh, laptop or PC off in Hibernate mode. Okay, you turn it into a Hibernate mode. Then you you, you need to test this scenario. Then 
you lock the PC. Okay, there is another way of locking the PC, and also you can check internet fluctuations. Okay, by re 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 removing the cable or you know doing something where internet fluctuates. So these are all the things that you need to keep in mind while testing desktop applications. So this all comes under uh, ad hoc testing where you are suddenly trying to break the functionality of the system. So whether it is mobile application, whether it is website or whether it is uh, desktop applications, when you do such kind of scenarios where you lock the system in between or you shut, shut it down or when you hibernate or say in some case uh, there is power off. OK, so these are all ad hoc situations Okay, where we are trying to see what happens when such things are done to the system. OK, so you need to test all these things manually. So to summarize, you should be knowing different kinds of operating system that is Windows, Mac, Linux and so on. OK, you should also be knowing about uh, latest operating system and what is the market share. Um, if you are testing the application on any, parti any particular operating system, in our case, say Windows OS, then you should know which Windows operating system is widely used. Then you have to test your application thoroughly on that operating system. OK, check CPU and memory usage and check these uh, ad hoc scenarios like uh, Hibernate, PC lock, uh, uh, internet fluctuations and so on. OK, so I hope I have given enough information for testing desktop application along with the functional testing. I, uh, I hope you all like the videos and I'll see you in the next lecture.